Great everyone, this video is the second part of a previous video released on our channel. In the last video, I have shown you guys how we came to this Kakade National Park last night, camped in the camping grounds, started our journey towards a secret spot in boat, we had some obstructions on our way, we sorted everything out, found another good camping spot and we went for bushwalking and hunting with our bow and arrow. This video starts from there and we are going to watch what we have done on our second day. I'm very sure that this video is going to be interesting and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this. We were working for more than 20 minutes and entered into some deep bush areas where the trees were denser but still we couldn't find any pigs. In few places we found feces of pigs, it proved us that there are animals around but we couldn't see one. On our way we encountered another wetland area. We thought there would be any animals and we moved towards it very slowly and quietly. We went close to the wetland area and stayed there looking for any pigs, but we couldn't find any. Even though we couldn't spot any pigs around the wetland area, we found some footprints of pigs. Also, there were some more evidence of pigs came to that area and played around the muddy areas. There would have been pigs definitely around that area and they would have run away after they noticed humans walking in the bush. We searched for pigs for some more time but we couldn't find any. So we decided to get back to the camp and have some breakfast.
On our way back, we came past the same wetland area which was close to our camping spot and noticed the same group of birds were still flying around and having fun. After walking for a long time, we finally reached our camping spot and started cooking some breakfast for us. We cooked some steak and we had steak burgers with some lettuce, tomatoes, cheese and mango chutney. We were so tired after walking in the bush searching for pigs nearly around 3 hours and the breakfast we had after a long walk was so pleasing. After our breakfast, we took our boat and started traveling in the river looking for good fishing spots. After few minutes of fishing, Jamie caught a small archer. We pulled that into the boat and let that go again in the river. The next fish was caught by Rob. It was a barramundi. Good catch, Rob. Nice fishy. Barramundi is shortly called as Barra. It's a famous fish in Northern Territory of Australia and a lot of people fish for it. We caught our first Barra. It was around 50 cm long and let that go in the river again. You might wonder why we catch the fishes and leave them again into the river. We usually do fishing as a hobby and normally we don't catch and take away the freshwater fishes. Oh, 
I caught the third fish of the day and it was another barramundi. It was nearly around 45 cm long. These barra fishes are strong fishers. Even though they look small, they have some power in them. Kiss the small twin, get the fish off. <laughs> At least I got one today, Rob. So far. Handle this cut. I already did. Yeah, nice. Have you 45? I'll get you a uh, photo. Ah, yeah, photo too. After we caught a few fishes from our first spot, we decided to go to another place in the river. We travelled some distance in the river and after we reached another potential fishing spot, we dropped our lures in the river and let the boat to travel very slow. After few minutes, a fish got caught in Jamie's fishing rod. It was caught from a longer distance and seemed like a bigger fish. Jamie struggled a little bit to pull that fish towards the board and eventually we managed to catch that fish using a fishing net and took that into the board.
It was the biggest catch of the day and that fish was around 75 cm long when we measured that in the scale. After taking few photos of that fish, I led that fish to swim away in the river again. After some time, Jamie caught another fish. It was a catfish and we just released that again in the river. After that, we moved away from that fishing spot and went to another place to try catching some more fishes. It's a barrow, Rex, hey! It's a barrow. Hey. In the new spot, we caught a small barramundi first. That was a catch from Rob and he was very happy about his catch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get up and go. After catching plenty of fishes in the river, we came to our camping spot to take some rest. After taking some rest in our camping place for some time, we took our fishing rods and bow and arrows and started walking into the bush for hunting and fishing along the river bank. On our way, we also checked the wetland area closer to our camping spot, but we couldn't find any pigs around that area. It was a very nice and adventurous experience walking in the deep Australian bush looking for some animals to hunt down.
We were walking more than 30 minutes in the bush, but unfortunately we couldn't find any animals yet. So we decided to go and try fishing from the riverbank. On our way to the riverbank, we also noticed few trees were affected by bushfire and they fell down across our path. After reaching the riverbank, we started fishing from the shore. Jamie caught a fish and that fish knocked his beer bottle down. What's this fish? He doesn't care about that. He still had a sip from his beer bottle and took the fish on his hands. Saratoga. with a dinosaur or something. That little needle sharp teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. It was a Saratoga fish in a golden color with sharp teeth and nearly around 70 centimeters. We spent few more minutes trying to catch more fish, but we couldn't catch anything else. Rob was also trying hard to catch any fish from the show, but he couldn't catch anything.
after a couple of hours of fishing, we realized it's getting late and it's going to be dark soon. So we started walking back to the camp and it was quite a long walk to the camp. What we have done after we reached the camp and on our next day will be in our next video which will be released very soon on our channel. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this and I will catch you all in another beautiful video. Till then thanks for watching and cheers.